Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm very excited to tell you all about Apple GP support that's finally come to Asahi Linux. And for the very first time, we have a Linux game running on Apple Silicon hardware, bare metal, no emulation and no virtualization. And this is a big deal because Asahi Linux is the only way to run ARM64 Linux natively on Apple Silicon hardware. And this is something you can test right now. So if you want to find out how to do this, then please follow the link in the description for my tutorial video. And the technical accomplishment that the Asahi Linux team have delivered is astounding. Many things that most people take for granted on a computer, like display drivers or graphics drivers, had to be written from scratch without proper documentation from Apple. And the only thing that's really missing is the fact that we don't have 3D accelerators. So it means that we can't play many of the 3D accelerated games that you might be able to do on other Linux devices. And if we could get full GPU support on Linux on a Mac, then it opens up the possibility and brings us a little bit closer towards getting Proton working on Apple Silicon hardware. And Proton is a little piece of magic which allows Windows games to work virtually flawlessly on Linux hardware. And if we could get full GPU support on a Linux side and have this installed on Asahi Linux, then it opens up the possibility of playing tons more Windows games on Apple Silicon Macs. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So before we get too ahead of ourselves, we have to acknowledge that this GPU development is in its very early stages and we can only get very basic games to work like Neverball. And we are still very far away from being able to run big AAA titles on Linux at the moment. However, even having basic GPU acceleration is going to mean much better battery life and also smoother transitions and animations as well. And the developers have stated that they're hoping to see OpenGL 2.1 supported natively on Asahi Linux by the end of 2022. And although we are very far away from feature parity from the graphics APIs that AAA games require, it's pretty much astounding considering that back in January 2021, we were rendering triangles. And earlier in May 2022, the developers were still fixing bugs with rendering very basic 3D models. But progress is progress. And the more that we see Asahi Linux's GPU performance improve, the more it opens up the gaming possibilities for Apple Silicon hardware. So for example, the Switch emulator Skyline, which is built for ARM64 devices, can now be on the M2 Mac. And this is just cracking the surface of what's going to be possible with Asahi Linux in the future. So if you're invested in a future of gaming on a Mac, then I definitely recommend supporting the developers of Asahi Linux. Make sure to follow developers like Alyssa Rosenzweig. I'll leave a link in the description to her blog. You can also watch Asahi Lina's channel if you want to see the development of the kernel driver in real time. And also make sure to support the lead developer Marken either via Patreon or GitHub sponsors. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.